My name is Indigo Brewweiler. I'm a 15 year old amputee and I play for the Fairfax Falcons varsity team and the Charlotte Bone Hornets women's team. And this is my speech or uh, spoken essay, I guess. It was the summer before fourth grade. I had just had another leg surgery, so I was in my chair long term. My family wanted to go see the Smithsonian's before school started, so we went to DC. After enjoying the not-so-accessible Air and Space Museum, we found a market with stands and tents, one of which had nice, cool lemonade. At the lemonade stand, a woman approached me. I thought she was just going to say, you're so inspirational, like many do, but instead she just asked, do you play wheelchair basketball? I had never heard of such a thing. Basketball? In a wheelchair? It's impossible. The lady said, no, it's not, almost reading my thoughts. My son plays it and we need more girls on the team. Here, she said, taking out her phone. Let me call him. Her name is Z. Her son, Nuri, a year older than me, plays for the team as well. And she's the reason I ever heard of the sport or even learned I could play it near me. I've played for the Fairfax Falcons for five years now. I've played with the same team after two moves, three different states, and an amputation. The Falcons are my siblings, my annoying brothers and my amazing sisters. They're my family that motivate me wherever I go. It was through basketball that one of my teammates told me about scuba diving. It was through basketball that I heard about other basketball and amputee summer camps. And it's with my teammates, whether we're playing for the same team or not, that I feel the camaraderie and competitiveness that I rarely see with any able-bodied friends that can't really relate to my strange phantom pain that I get. It's due to basketball that I have so many friends across the country and so many more that I can relate to and motivate each other. I saw the incredible things that some of the amputee players were doing that helped my decision to amputate my leg in 2021. They support my decision, and even though I now don't have a leg, I don't feel any less. I'm no less human, I'm less of a person. I'm motivated to push forward, and I am determined to try my hardest on the court even though my coaches yelled at me saying I'm too nice on the court and I have to stop apologizing when I flip two people at the same time. Basketball has been a deciding factor in my life for years and it's opened so many doors to me and my family. What's your basketball has given me my second family, motivation to be active and people my age that I can actually relate to. Wheelchair basketball and my team have been a consistency that I love even though I'm military, a sport I can rely on yet a sport that implores me, us strive for greatness on the court and in the classroom. I love wheelchair basketball. I love my team. I love the sport.